welcome to my channel and thank you all so much for being here and for all of your support today's pick a card reading is an interesting one and a requested one we are going to see does the person who is on your mind do they talk about you to their friends and if so what do they say in front of me i have three different options each with a different image of a heart this is group one group two in group three, choose the one that really calls out to you. Okay, let's get started. Group number one. Okay, so do they talk to their friends about you? And if so, what do they say? Okay, group number one. So immediately when I tap into your cards, what comes to me in regards to this is that you and this person had a very like you know, instant firework-like connection with each other, okay? I'm getting, like, this instant magnetic attraction and just, like, the chemistry, you know, just... It was, like, popping, you know? Like, you guys just couldn't get enough of each other is what I'm seeing. As well as there was a feeling of this being, like, destiny. Okay? So, like, like wow, like, this person was meant to be in my life, Okay? Just like, yeah, and like everything, you know, is pretty effortless. Now, if this is a new person and none of that has happened yet, then I feel like you guys dream about like, you know, like fantasize about like what it would be like to be with this person. And that's like where that firework feeling is coming from. But for those of you that were involved with this person, okay, so that's like how it's coming across for how this relationship was. Okay, and then it feels like that there was something that happened and now, you know, it's like there's an obstacle between you guys and your person is currently, like, confused as far as, like, where you two stand, okay? And I feel like you are as well, so, you know, there's, like, a mirroring thing going on as far as that goes. And so it's kind of like, you know, nobody's really taking the action towards each other. And as far as what they tell their friends... When I look at that is, you know, I feel like at first, like they were really excited when they were with you is what's coming through. And I feel like, you know, they told their friends, you know, I met this amazing person, you know, we'll see how it goes, you know, just kind of playing it day by day type of feeling, not really wanting to, you know, reveal too much is what I'm seeing there. And then I feel like currently they're like, you know, like, bro, I don't know what happened, you know? Like, kind of like this blindsided feeling is what's coming through. And if you're like, oh no, they know what happened, okay, they're not revealing that to their friends. So they're acting like they don't have a clue, like something shifted, okay? And going further with the rest of the cards, they're really acting like you're the one who shifted, okay? Yeah, that's interesting. So I see here with the opportunity, Opportunity card that it's kind of like you guys ended up diving into something. This doesn't necessarily have to be when you were with them, but it could be. But either way, it's like you're diving into something, like you're going all out with it. You're putting a lot of your attention and energy and focus into something. And, you know, you're currently coming across with that energy of like, you know, I'm doing me now. And, you know, understandably so, because this person... After what happened, it's like, yeah, you know, you're putting yourself first. You're diving into whatever this creative endeavor is. And with the second house, it's like you are, you know, all about making that money now. Okay? And that's how they see you. And you're also coming across as being in the spotlight currently. So, you know, whether you are or you're not, that's like how your energy is showing up. So this person is like feeling like you guys might have went through a glow up okay it doesn't have to literally be the spotlight but your energy is like hey here I am you know and then the whole room looks type of thing going on either way it's like you know you guys are rising to the top in like every area so I'm actually getting the impression that they might mention it's like they might mention whatever it is that you're doing to their friends okay kind of like I feel like they think you know it's kind of like one of those feelings of like, is that all they care about? 
Yeah. Okay. They feel like you guys have this like, I want my cake and I want to eat it too type of energy going on. And I feel like you guys are going to be like, yeah, because I deserve it, you know? And they feel like you are not allowing them in currently. So they feel like you're the reason there's this mountain or a wedge between you guys. What's interesting okay. is the song that came to me when I thought about you guys was them saying like, don't you want me, baby? Don't you want me? Oh, okay. So yeah, like they thought everything was cool between you guys and now all of a sudden they think you think you're a big shot and like you're not even like looking their way kind of i say kind of because a part of them feels like you are <laughs> and another part of them feels like you've moved on okay so actually even though this is opposite i'm getting like this half and half feeling in regards to them and you I do feel like you know a part of you is kind of like I, I am half over this and then another part of me kind of is holding on so I'm actually getting kind of a jealous feeling from this person okay they oh man as far as what they're saying to their friends I'm honestly feeling like this person is kind of they're the type that doesn't want to admit it okay I'm just I'm feeling like they think they are strong like this mountain and they would rather just like not admit like what's really bothering them okay so i feel like their friends know that like they'll act like they're over you and somebody will mention you and hey did you see what you know you so and so posted meaning you and they'll just be like yeah cool yeah i don't care you know like that type of thing even though deep down they do care you know so yeah that's that is also like what's coming through there Oh, okay, that's interesting. So we have a sunflower and the dolphin card, which are two of my most optimistic cards. So there is a part of them that's still, regardless of everything going on, you two and your lack of communication, as well as you guys, you're coming across like you are taken off with something and flourishing. And if that hasn't happened yet, I see it will happen. Okay, so that's awesome to see as a side note. But either way, it's kind of like, you know, this person does acknowledge that, like, being with you is what made them happiest, okay, with the sunflower here. So I feel like that is definitely what makes them hold on to this. No matter what they're going through, it doesn't matter if they're jealous, you know, you living your best life without them type thing. That also could be what this represents. It doesn't necessarily have to be a specific, like, creative thing, you know, but... And I feel like they just, they want that feeling back of like when you two were good and everything was good, and life felt fun again, you know, and they felt carefree and like anything was possible. Just this real magical lightheartedness is what I'm seeing with the dolphin here. So yeah, you know, I do see that they want that back. But again, with that 50-50 going on, but then this other part of them, you know, when they face reality and they realize neither one of you is bending, neither one of you is admitting that you still have feelings. It's kind of like they think, and they do discuss this with their friends, like maybe me and, you know, you are just too different is what's coming through. Like they're kind of like talking themselves out of it and they want to know like if their friends agree with that is what I'm seeing. Okay, so we have the Ace of Earth, the Four of Earth, the King of Water, and the Queen of Water. Okay, so it's interesting because this is an opportunist card. This is opportunity, and the Ace of Earth is like another opportunity. So this person, you know, you guys had such a like newness about this connection in the beginning. And it was like, again, like anything was possible. And... You know, I just feel like, I feel like you both feel like a rug got ripped out from under you and you're both trying to make sense of this and wonder like, you know, like the feelings are still there. It's just like, nobody's, nobody's making a move. Yeah, and I feel like somebody shut down. 
And it's like, now it's like, you know, your person is continuing that energy, either playing it safe, basically, with the four of earth here and not revealing anything. I feel like deep down, though, this person wants to be this king of water for you, okay? They want to open their heart. They want to give this another go. They see you as being the queen of water and just reverse this, you know, if you're a guy watching this. But um, I do feel like, you know, it's... I'm actually getting the feeling that like you guys are like this dream come true to this person, okay? Like you're attractive, your personality is amazing, your energy, you're creative, you're intuitive, you know, definitely come across like a water sign. You don't have to be, okay? You also have a very fiery nature to you as well. So fire and water vibes, but I am seeing though that this person, they're just like, uh-uh, you know, like I'm not opening myself up. And so I feel like they're kind of just... If anything, they might be saying to their friends, like, hey, you know, given what happened, like, what do you think I should do? They might even admit that they still have feelings for you. But not a lot. You know what I mean? Like, they're not going to get all, like, mushy with their friends. But, like, you know, they'll reveal that they still have a thing for you. Is like, what it will come across like. And kind of like, what should I do? You know? And, you know, looking at these two, it's like they're backs are towards each other so yeah I definitely see that you two are kind of mirroring the stubbornness even though they're both water cards so that definitely tells me like both of your hearts are still with each other it's just nobody's taking any action and nobody's giving any signs that that's what they want but yeah group number one this is what I see for you guys if this resonates let me know in the comments and if it does don't forget to give it a like all right bye guys group number two okay so does your person talk to their friends about you and if so what do they say okay group number two so right away what I'm seeing is that this connection actually comes across pretty strong okay like a soulmate type of connection so it's no wonder that you and your person haven't let go of each other even if you're not currently together okay Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that this person honestly wants to be the perfect boyfriend or girlfriend for you is what I'm seeing with this card here, okay? And it's kind of like, you know, at this point, like if you guys aren't in communication, then this person's really like... <sighs> trying to work up the courage to message you. And a part of them even wonders if they should message you. Okay, so I feel like they're kind of like letting their friends know, you know, about whatever went down between you two, like their version of it. And like, you know, hey, do you think I should message them or not? You know? So yeah, I'm also kind of getting that I feel like this person, you know, like after a night of drinking or something, like you might end up getting a text or a message from them. I'm kind of getting that feeling like they... They want something to help them get up their courage to message you. Yeah, this person, you know, they're, I feel like they're a little intimidated by you guys. Like a little bit, like you definitely have this like fierce independent vibe coming through. So that's interesting, but they're also intrigued by it, you know, and this person can also be, you know, alpha when they want to be. So, I mean, it's all good and balanced, but yeah, it's coming through though, you know. So that's interesting. Okay, so this person and you, I feel like, you know, with the intimacy card here, like, yeah, you know, they definitely, like you guys, I feel like had a passionate connection and definite chemistry. And I feel like, you know, they often like think back to those moments as being like the best moments ever, okay? But now they feel like, you know, you're kind of just like, you're focused right now on like your appearance and I don't just mean like looks I mean like I mean like with what you're doing in life where you're going in life like just your future everything okay and what it takes for you to get there like you're really building up yourself and building up your life right now okay and yeah I just okay so with the six of fire I feel like this person put you guys on a pedestal okay and some of you might be in the spotlight but you don't have to be it's just like it's how your energy's coming across, you know, like glow up, doing your thing, you know, 
you do have that independent vibe like i don't need no man and woman okay yeah and going back to the eighth house intimacy we also have passionate so your person is a very passionate person and i feel like you know you guys were very passionate when you were together and if this is a new connection then i feel like you know that's just like them going to fantasy land and talking you know not talking imagining like what would it be like to be with you like in a relationship as well as being passionate okay so if this is a connection where you guys were together though they <laughs> they are talking to their friends though about how you know how you are <laughs> okay so they feel like okay with the queen of earth reversed you guys are coming across kind of like you know you're giving them the cold shoulder is what i'm feeling like with this and kind of like you want nothing to do with them whether or not that's true that's like what they're thinking and they are bringing that up to their friends okay so they currently feel like you like they're shut out of your life okay with the five of earth here but with the five of earth being reversed i feel like there it, that does show there is a bit of hope okay i feel like this person's kind of gauging and watching your social media and looking for any sign that you know says that you guys miss them and you want to give this another go is what i'm seeing and i feel like this person would swoop in and like you know do what it takes to make it work with the eight of earth here yeah because all in all i feel like this person views you guys as being like their dream girl or guy you know and they don't want to let go of that <laughs> They might, okay, so I actually do get the impression they might have told their friends that as well, like, that you guys are, like, the full package, like, looks, personality, energy, all of it, okay? You're exactly what this person, you know, would have wanted to manifest is what I'm feeling like. Okay, so I'm also seeing with the change card, though, that something happened and it sparked all this change between you guys. So whatever was going good has changed, okay? And I feel like they think you've changed as well. Okay, that's coming through. So even if you feel like you haven't, that's, that's what's coming through. And then, okay, so along with that, the games card popped up. So this person kind of feels like you guys are playing games with them, okay? Kind of like I quit playing games with my heart. Like one minute they think you're on the same page and the next minute you're coming across like you're not, okay? And then with the fire card here, yeah, that's where the fierceness comes through. I feel like you guys came across like you were this sweet person, which I'm not saying you're not. And then all of a sudden when that change happened, it's like the shift happened and you guys became real fierce and fiery and like blunt, I feel. And like kind of putting this person in their place is what's coming through. And they're like, who are you? <laughs> Okay, so it's also come through that some of you, this isn't going to be for all of you, but some of you, part of that change is you were going through a hardship at the time. So yeah, you know, you might have come across like you shifted because you were going through something rough. Like you're not going to be that happy-go-lucky sweet person that they thought. That is a part of you, but like I said, you know, you're going through something rough. So you came at them more fiery and emotional is what I'm seeing with that. Again, that's not going to be for all of you though. And then I feel like with the tree here, though, this person, you know, they do view you guys as being this strong, solid person who is just like unapologetically you, okay? And yeah, so, okay, for those of you that were going through a hardship, though, I do feel like your person mentioned that to their friends, you know, and they most likely told them, like, be there for you, but give you space, okay? That's kind of like the feeling I'm getting. And those of you that that isn't you, then with the change in the games thing, I feel like, you know, I feel like your person mentioned that to their friends. Like, hey, you know, my person's acting strange. And I feel like, you know, they would have just told them, well, question it, you know, and like, see what's going on. But I feel like you're, you weren't giving them much though, okay? Because I see the cell phone reversed. So it's kind of like you shut down is what I'm seeing for some reason. And it could be due to this person, okay? It's a general reading, so it's going to be different for all of you. But yeah, there's a definite shut down feeling. And then with the cat, you know, yeah, you guys come across as cool, independent. I don't need no man or woman. But it's also kind of like you had this feeling of like, yeah, you know, I'm going to 
do this on my own type feeling, you know, to kind of prove how strong you are. It might even be to yourself, okay? So it may not have had anything to do with this person. It's just kind of like the timing of when things happened, you know? Okay, so a few different messages going on there. Take what resonates with you. And then the rest of you, it's like, you guys are showing up like you're involved with somebody else, okay? Now that could be in another relationship, that could be talking to somebody else, or, you know, in a situationship, you know? Either way, it's kind of like, that's like the current energy. And if you're not involved, then that message isn't for you. But either way, you've come across like you've changed, okay? So a few different messages coming through. And those of you involved with somebody else, okay? It's interesting that this is the person on your mind. So we got a bit of a third party situation going on and a specific message that came through in regards to that. Your person says you can do better like me, okay? Yeah, that's interesting. So whether you're actually with somebody or just entertaining somebody else, this person notices and they're like, yeah, you could do a lot better like being with them. <laughs> okay, so, but for everybody else, the other message that's coming through is them saying like, no one compares to you. And no matter what I do, I can't get my mind off you, okay? So that's interesting. So I feel like, you know, your person tells their friends that, that again, like you guys are like, they may not say dream girl or guy, but they like tell them how you're the full package and like they don't know what went wrong or if they messed it up, they do know what went wrong, but I feel like they'd play that down, you know, to their friends, unless of course, they might be blunt, okay? So either way, it's like this person, like I said, they put you they put you on a pedestal. They feel a soulmate-like connection. They wonder if they should hit you up. Either way, they feel like they are like, they feel like you're their person, you know? And they want this. They want this to work is what's coming through. So they're asking their friends for advice. Like, hey, what would you do if you're in this situation? But then, okay, so another part of them also though feels like you two might... You come from two different worlds, okay? So there could be something in particular that is kind of a deal breaker for either you or them or both of you. And it's like, even though you guys have this like connection and these feelings for each other, you just think like, you know, we come from two different worlds. How could we ever make this work? You know, and that could be the thing that's in the way and why you guys aren't communicating, you know? That's also coming through. And maybe even that's what spawned your change. Just something, okay? I'm just getting the feeling like neither one of you wanted to be heartbroken. So you might have kind of shut down to avoid that is what's coming through. But either way, I feel like you're both feeling this. Like you want this to work, but there's just something in the way. Some kind of factor is what's coming through. Also group number two. Okay, going back to the opposite thing. Your person is also asking their friends what they make of whatever that thing is that makes it seem like you two are from two different worlds, okay? And wondering, like, if they think that's a big enough reason not to be together. Because I think, I feel like for some of you, it's going to be something specific. And for, again, though, a general reading. So for others of you, it's going to be more of a general, like, we're just so different. Are we too different? You know, that type of thing. Okay, group number two, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. All right, bye guys. Okay, group number three. Okay, so does the person who's on your mind talk to their friends about you? And if so, what do they say? Okay, group number three. So right away, as I tap into your guys' cards, what comes to me is that I feel like Okay, so instantly, you know, it's got this feeling of like, I fooled around and fell in love, okay? So I feel like you guys might have met this person at a time when they were going through some healing, okay? Some deep healing. Like, they might have just gone through a breakup themselves, okay? And like, I'm just getting like this real casual, like, fling type feeling with the lilies here, okay? So, yeah, your guys is... Your guys' relationship might have started off like physical is what's coming to me. And then like <laughs> this person, like I said, like they fooled around and fell in love. Like I see with the house and then the ring here, like this person definitely sees a future with you, okay? They were like, wow, this person's amazing. Like they really are the real deal is what I'm seeing. And they weren't 
like expecting that of anyone like it wasn't just you anyone like they weren't even with the eyes like standing out to me they weren't literally seeing anyone except for their ex you know but you changed that okay <laughs> yeah like oh, with the house here i'm just getting like this real like you guys really provide this stable like feeling and then with saturn you know this wisdom so also with the house it's like you guys have this groundedness and a real like solid stable presence okay in fact this is interesting because i happen to pull out my earth card as well as air card which goes right along with the house as well as the wisdom card okay so you guys definitely have this interesting earth air combo going on so you'll have to let me know group four if you happen to be an earth or an air sign but either way it's like you have the traits though okay like you, Earthwise, are a grounded person who takes practical steps to getting where you want to be in life. And with the air, it's like you've got this intellect, okay? You're intelligent, you have wisdom, okay? That intuitiveness. I feel like even with the eye card, your third eye is like opening, you know? As well as with Jupiter, you know, we have this expansion, like this person felt so alive and like life was an adventure and they could see going on adventures with you and traveling and just like I'm just getting like fireworks passion you know all of it and yeah okay so initially though I feel like they did tell their friends about how attracted to you they were you know and how physically attractive you are and you know anything else that goes along with that but um I'm also getting though that as time went on, I feel like, you know, they actually said, like, wow, you know, like, this took me by surprise, but I actually see a future with this person. Okay. Yeah, that's, so that's interesting. And I feel like they, this person, like, whether they really voice it or not, because, you know, I feel like some people have a hard time voicing that kind of stuff and, like, revealing how they really feel, even to their friends. It's like they lit up, though at the mention of you or when they mentioned you so it's kind of like their friends knew oh you're catching feelings you know that type of thing and i just get like this big smile you know like their face lights up at the thought of you okay so but then it's like something happened okay and that changed things between you guys and now they feel like you guys are acting fine without them, okay? Like a definite independent vibe. You're doing you. You're focused on you, your future, your finances. You know, just very independent. And kind of like they feel like they're shut out of your life currently. Okay, so. Yeah. And it's kind of like, you know, you guys... You're just coming across as like this strong, independent person who doesn't, who's fine. Like I said, like they're fine without them. So I feel like, you know, they mentioned that as well. They're like, hey, you know, this person, they act like they don't need me in their life. So, you know, I guess I shouldn't say anything. It's kind of like they act like that, but they still hold on to hope is what I'm seeing. Okay, so I feel like if you two do communicate, it's kind of like here and there, like once in a blue moon, and you two don't really get anywhere, okay? They currently also feel like you guys have gone through a glow up. And I feel like, you know, it's like, yeah, they're like hooked to your social media. They're also trying to see any signs if you're missing them or if you've moved on is also coming through. I feel like they also ask about you guys like if you have mutual friends i feel like they want to know the latest they want to know if you're seeing anyone okay oh also you guys they love that you came across as being authentic and real okay like you guys don't act fake and they love that about you i'm not i feel like they did voice something like that to their friends might not be in in those exact words but it's like you know just you know that you guys are cool laid back but on one hand they view you as laid back but then i feel like you could also be fierce as well okay yeah that's the other thing that's coming through i feel like you guys might have got into it or fought okay and it's kind of like part of their hesitation for contacting you or really saying something that would get this moving along is because they don't want to fight with you again yeah they feel like you guys aren't seeing something from their perspective as well that's also coming through 
So I feel like they mention that to their friends, like they'll tell them their side of something that went down between you guys and then they'll be like, yeah. And you know, and they make it sound like you're, you don't even want to listen or you don't see it that way. Like they're mentioning something like that as well. Then that's interesting that I say that because then there's a part of them that also says, I regret messing things up. Okay, so there is a part of them though that also feels like they did play a part in this and they, they are sorry for it and they do wonder like, you know, has too much damage been done? I feel like they're also like talking to their friends about that as well. Like they'll, you know, tell them what went down and what they make of it and like if they think they should still, you know, try. They also say that no matter what they do, they can't get you off their mind. Okay, so they're definitely hooked to the idea of this connection. Like I said, like this person views you guys as being like the full package and they do see a future together. I feel like, you know, they did something that seems like it was kind of careless. Okay. And maybe even the, when they lost you is when this full realization came to their mind as far as like, oh man, like I just messed up and what would have been an amazing relationship. Okay. It's something like that. Like they didn't realize what they had until it was gone. And what I feel like they're currently waiting for, in fact, yeah, we have the waiting card, like they're waiting to hear from you. It's like also the energy that's coming through, but it's kind of like they want you to let your guard down with the seven of fire reversed here, okay? And they want you to show this vulnerable side, not always such a tough exterior. Like they feel like, yeah, I get it. You know, you're independent, you're tough. You don't need anyone, got it. But I still wanna be this messenger of water for you, okay? Like the Knight of Cups. And they don't feel like that currently with this being reversed, but they want to, okay? It's kind of like got that, also that feeling of like, let my love open the door to your heart. Okay, they feel like you are just shutting the door to your heart, basically. And they honestly, even if, okay, so even if they were careless and they regret their part in this, they also feel like though there's a part of you that's being stubborn is what's coming through, okay? And like, you're not budging, you're not willing to see things from their perspective. And that's what they want you to do. So I do feel like, you know, they mentioned that to their friends. Like they're definitely holding the stance themselves. So even though you guys are coming across like the nine of earth, they're also coming across like the nine of earth, almost like a little bit of mirroring like, okay, like you act like you don't need me. Well, then you'll see that I don't need you either. But deep down, I do feel like they still want this. Okay. So yeah, I feel like at this point, they're kind of just mentioning, like I said, to their friends, like what happened and their perspective of it and like what they think they should do next. Which I do feel like their friends are telling them like this just to tell you guys like how they feel and just see what happens, you know, like that kind of a thing. Okay, group number three, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. All right, bye guys.